Hey, hello there. This is an accelerated course about the history of RF power amplifiers and cellular infrastructure. First of all, please imagine with me, this is the base station tower. In the old 3G days, the RF power amplifier was at the bottom of the tower next to the baseband. The antenna was at the top, but there were too many RF losses in the cable going from the bottom to the top, making it not very efficient. So coincidentally with 4G, we got rid of the power amplifier at the bottom and built a remote radio head where the PA is at the top of the mast next to the antenna. But all of this is big and heavy. Now with 5G comes GAN and its remarkable power density. So now we can replace this large chip with a much smaller one. Both chips deliver the same power. And compared to where we were at at the beginning, this is almost two times smaller. Let me explain now what Massive MIMO is. Here in this box is what we call 4T radios with four RF transistors. And here, 32T radios with 32 transistors. You're welcome to count. Sometimes it's even 64. The total power of the antenna remains the same, but the idea is, is that we replace high power chips with many low power ones. Eight times lower in this example. I'll let you do the math. As you can imagine, each of these tiny chips make up a PA lineup and a full transmit chain. And this new complexity is power hungry. That is why GAN comes into play. RF GAN transistors have an awesome efficiency. Thank you for watching.